discussion on uh, cancer and also what it means for Uganda to actually acquire more equipment. But again, just to give a bit of context, for most of us, either a family friend has had a scare of cancer, or even you, you've had a scare of cancer, or you've had a friend who has had a scare of cancer, or has actually fatally uh, fallen victim to cancer. And we know the conversation around so many types of cancer in the country, and uh, tonight we just want to dive into that conversation, but also to create more awareness around how to get uh, treatment but also how to detect it early. So in our studios tonight, we do have Dr. Alfred Jethel, and we'll be diving into this conversation right away. Very good evening, and uh, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. Good evening to you. Well, we have just received a bit of good news, you know, when it comes to cancer treatment that we've acquired, you know, more equipment. What does it mean for, for us as a, as a nation? Yeah, as a nation, Uganda, uh, this equipment means we can receive the appropriate uh, quality care that has been taken our citizens to different countries in the world. Mm -hmm. You have seen many of our people go to India, USA for those kind of machines. So it means you can get your treatment here. If so you're going abroad, you're going on your choice because somebody has a choice where he or she should be treated. Well, cancer treatment is a very uh, expensive uh, process. It is a process indeed, and it's very expensive. True. Does this really sort of give some guarantee to Ugandans that we are likely to have access to it at a cheaper cost? Is there uh, that, that, that option? That's, that's very right. That's very right. Cancer care is very expensive, especially when you get it abroad because so many things uh, affect cost. Uh, the country where we are in, cost of living a bit fairer. Currently, the health workers here are paid by the government of Uganda. So overall, the cost of care is cheaper in Uganda than going abroad. And also these machines, you see, they're a bit expensive. It means government has put a lot of money yeah, to make sure these machines are available. And therefore, to run these machines, it may also need some money. Maybe at one point in time, maybe certain little amount of money may need to be charged yeah, to improve the access to the services. As I speak now, access to some these equipment still at a, a very minimal cost, and then many of the, the, the drugs are still free of charge. Yeah. Let's speak about the incidence of a cancer among patients in, in this country. Yes. Um, how, what numbers are we probably looking at at the moment? How bad is the situation? As a country, the number of cancer cases are rising mm. for many reasons. Yeah. Of course, our change in lifestyle also contribute to the rise in the cancer cases, but also the awareness of screening, also helping us to find more cancer cases. Yeah, those are some of the reasons. So you find that in each year in, in, in Uganda, we expect 34,000 new cancer cases, new people, people get new, okay, who, who, who develop cancer per year. So in five years' time, when you estimate, we expect 62,000 cancer cases. These 62,000 cancer cases contribute to the burden of care. This is a number we need to be treating at any one point in a year as a, as, as a country. And as we, based on our capacity, as Uganda now, we are able to treat about 17% of these 62,000 cancer cases. Yeah. Well. Let us speak about, I know there's quite a lot of conversation around what causes cancer, but honestly, everyone seems to have a, a theory of, of what really causes cancer. Sometimes the spices in the food, um, sometimes what we drink, you know, what we use on our skin, lots and lots of conversation, mm -hmm. but also they, they create a certain, you know, they evoke fear among the, the population that, you know, cancer is here, you can get it in one place, you can get it here. It's almost like no one is, is certain on what to do and what not to do. If you are to put it just in perspective for us, what do you think really are the main causes of cancer? Yeah, uh, see, there are many types of cancer, yes. over 100 types of cancer. And almost each type of cancer has certain specific uh, thing that can increase the risk of developing those, uh, those kind of cancer. But in terms of cancer risk, or maybe just plainly speaking, thing that cause cancer. Yes. The main cause in our country is infections. Infection like human papilloma virus, which is sexually transmitted. Uh, human papilloma virus is responsible for cancer of the cervix. And then another type of cancer. And then hepatitis B virus, which is responsible for cancer of the liver. And then you have other viruses like human apis virus of different types, especially type 8 
which are responsible for a type of cancer called KS or Kaposisa coma. Uh, when you put infection aside, other lifestyle related factors, especially excess consumption of alcohol, can lead to many types of cancer. And by the way, for, for alcohol, whether light consumption can lead to development of cancer, but the risk increases as you over consume alcohol. And then tobacco, when you smoke, or oh, shoot tobacco, the risk for cancer increases. Yes. And then our diet, when you don't balance your diet well, you don't eat varieties of food, and you don't eat adequate amount of fruit and vegetable, or maybe you eat food which is not uh, uh, well stored, maybe it has some uh, contaminations, yes. your risk for cancer increases. Mm -hmm. And then less physical activity increases cancer risk. Mm -hmm. And then maybe overall body weight. People who are more fatter or obese, their risk for developing cancer increases. And then where we work, if you work in a place where you're exposed to so many chemicals and you are not well protected, let's say you work in a factory, mm -hmm. but you have no mask in that factory. And in the factory where you work, there are a lot of uh, kind of uh, uh, fumes that come out, yeah. your risk for cancer. In increases. Those are the major things that can major cause cancer. cancer. Yes, yeah, but like there are many smaller, smaller things that can also mm -hmm. contribute to the risk Thank for cancer. So yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Alfred Jethro, for joining us here on NTV tonight. And again, this is a conversation that we can continue on social media, especially on, on the angle of how do we quickly detect it? How, what do we have to do prior to make sure that we stay safe? But again, there is some bit of good news at the end of the tunnel, and we do hope that with this new